Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I've got another diamond painting haul today. Now I do apologise for this background, I've got a glass table, it's see-through. So you see my tripod, my extension wire and my lamp there. But anyway, it's not about that, it's about the diamond painting. Now, after I'd purchased the last one with the, the sale that was going on, um, someone told me if I downloaded the app, I would get 20% off. So that's what I did and I shouldn't be allowed to order from Diamond Art Club but I won't be now for a while, I won't be now for a while. I still do want the um, the Game of Thrones Dracarys one but I'm going to wait until that comes down in price even more so than it is now. Uh, right, so I've already opened the box because I have already started one. I couldn't help myself. Put this here for now, just lean it against the table, that should be okay. Yes, I have already started one and it was just like a little snack size one, as they say. Just a mini one because of these big ones that I've been doing. I just wanted something something small to work on. So if I just take this off, it's just covering that. And I've managed half of it in two days and that's not even solidly working on it. The first day I started, I only had about an hour and I did it all of this section so yeah I'm doing well I'm doing well it was a nice uh, break from the actu actu absolutely huge ones that I've been doing it's only a 41 by 41 but I didn't realize this at the time but I'm happy about it and I know this for the future it is a partial so all this bit hasn't got any diamonds it's just the actual hedgehog and the teacup if I just bring you down it's a pain in the bottom doing diamond painting and filming it uh, but yeah, super cute, isn't it cute? I think it's going to be adorable this when it's done. And it'll only take me, I think, less than a week to complete this. I'll work on it again later on this afternoon. Bring you right down. And I've got loads of the white ABs left over, so I'm thinking of adding them as like little highlights in the hedgehog. I think that'll be really adorable. Uh, the name of the artist, I'm not going to butcher. So if I just lift it up to the camera. Now, as always with Diamond Art Club, the canvas is really soft. It's lovely to work on. Absolutely lovely to work on. But I'll actually, I'll actually get to the unboxing. Like I said, this one will not take me very long to do. Considering it is a small one, there's 42 colours, which I was really surprised about. But you get the occasional, um, like, there's like 20, 20 drills in the one colour. There's not many. There's not many. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. So I've just pulled all three of them out. So I did get four with the order. I've got one that's around and then two squares. I do prefer squares, although I do get three. The rounds a lot quicker. Um, I'll start off with the round, I think. Move these out of the way. And I haven't opened these three. So this is you know, first time for me as well. Give a little craft blade at the top. Now this one was in the sale. I probably should have done. I'll do that now. Uh, I've got an app on my phone. It's like a shop app. And then that quickly shows you how much things were that you've ordered. So I'll, I'll have a look, little look there. Um, let's see. If you wondered as well what I did with my diamond paintings, I've got two hung up in my daughter's room. I've got one hung up down here, I've got one on the fridge. Uh, one's going to my mum, she just needs to get a frame, I've told her the size. Uh, I'll figure out a way to hang it up. Uh, one of them's with my niece. Uh, right, so I paid £21 for that little hedgehog. That was in the sale I do believe. Uh, this one is called Sleeping Beauty and I paid £29 for this one. I mean, I don't mind paying sale prices and then you're getting money off. I mean, when you're talking about a diamond painting that's costing over £100, that's too much. That's too much. Too much for me. So, let me just check. I've got the old tool, tool kit. I always get excited now when I do see the new one. But I do have the old tool kit. I will just go through this just in case that you're not aware of what comes. Just 
pour it all out. So you do get a sticker. Now some people put these on the boxes at the end of the boxes for storage or I've been putting these in my little planner actually. So you get loads of baggies, little spurs, which I do use. I do use these so it's always nice to have more. Let's be a bit more organised ever. You get your basic pen, which that's what you, everything that comes with this kit is what you need. You don't need all the fancy stuff, but it's just nice to have. It's just nice to have. You do get a squishy, so this goes over the top and it just makes it more comfortable for when you're diamond painting. It does make a huge difference actually. And then you have, let me check what this one is. It's a four placer, which is my favourite. I like four and five placers. And that just goes on the end. So you've got a multi-placer. You've got two little love hearts of pink wax, which I really like this wax as well, so always good to have a backup. And then a little tray. Now the new tray that comes with the new tool kit, I do prefer. I do prefer that one. It's a little bit bigger. Feels a little bit more sturdier. So that can be popped back in there. And let's have a look at this canvas. Now all diamond painting, uh, diamond art club, canvases are poured glue which I prefer I do prefer I have had issues in the past with the double side adhesive I think it is when you're pulling back like the front like this bit it's see through with the double sided adhesive it's like a white and when I've pulled it back before it's actually took the glue with it I have had issues unfortunately this is upside down but I've never had an issue with Diamond Art Club and I'm on. Let me think how many I've done now. One, two, three, four, five. Either five or six and they're bit decent sized ones. Look how pretty she is. And I love pink. I do love pink. So there's plenty of pink with this one. So you get all the, the codes, the DMT codes, all... Um, all here and they're all pre-cut but I am noticing I've never seen that before look at this so it's like fraying so like the machine that's cut it out hasn't done a really good job um, they're still you know I can still peel them off but I've never seen that before I mean it's not an issue it doesn't affect you doing the diamond painting but that's just something to note yeah uh, yeah, looking to gorgeous. This is a 51 by 61 size canvas. I was just looking at the Mystic Art Mirrors one behind me, and because I've cut all the sides off in the bottom, I can't see what size that was off the top of my head. But it's looking very, very similar sized, and I managed to do that one in one week, but that was a labour of love to do it in that time. This one definitely will not get done in one week. So lovely, lovely clear symbols bring you right in lovely clear symbols for you to see I never use a light box with a diamond art club whoa we have a lot of confetti I just move it here you, this is what I mean by confetti so you've got all different colors so you'll be changing up a lot whereas her face and her neck that's a lot of color blocking so you, you'll get through that a lot quicker especially if you're using a multiplacer now Let's have a little look at the drills, shall we? Now I don't like opening the packets up because I always <laughs> I always struggle getting them back in the packaging as, as beautifully as, as, as Diamond Art Club have done it. But this is a, a circle drills, like I said, and it does actually say the name Sleeping Beauty of the canvas. So if you wanted to store these separate to the canvas, you know, you'd be able to match them up quite easily. But yeah, lots of pinks. We've got some blacks, so that's for all of the outlines that you can see. But lots and lots of different shades of pink. I'm seeing one, one white Aurora Borealis drill, which that's got a special coat in it, like an extra sparkle. Just double checking. I think there's just the one, I think. And I'm not seeing any issues just looking, looking at these. But like I said, I'm not opening the bag up because I want to pack this neatly away, neatly away. So it's like opening a brand new diamond painting that I haven't touched, putting it back in its um, dust bag and then back in the box. And currently, I'm storing them in my, storing them in my daughter's room, but I'm going to pick probably two 
to you to, to keep downstairs and then the rest I'm going to have to store at my mother-in-law's until we move. So that's that one. Really pretty, really pretty. I'm interested to see what that's going to look like when it's finished. So I'll tidy all this up and we will move on to the next one. So I've just gone ahead and pulled off the plastic that is on the floor, it's not on the table. <laughs> Making a pile on the floor there, easy clean up. And this one is called the Trapped Siren. So if I turn it this way, not, don't knock my lamp over. This one I actually had pulled out, ready to work on next once I'd finished the, the hedgehog one. Come on. There we go. There we go. I've got a funny feeling it's going to be the old kit as well with this one. So just to save a bit of time, this one I have just pulled out of the box, took the plastic off and pulled out of the box. Now this one is called Tra the Trapped Siren. Now this one I did actually have pulled out and downstairs ready for me to work on when I was ready, ready to start another one. Uh, let's have a look at this one. And this is Mandy Manzalo and I'm... So this is my second one by Amanda Manzalo, but this is um, this is the one I'm going to start first. So I've got the Crocker, is it Crocker Do? Crocker Do? Crocker Do. I've got that in my head for some reason, uh, but I do want to start this one. Oh my gosh! So I'm just gonna roll it the other way around ever so slightly, not properly roll it, but you can do that with pour glue. I wouldn't do this with the uh, double-sided adhesive, just to straighten it out ever so slightly. But they do tend to. Uh, lay flat after a little while these I do believe that they self flatten I don't know how that works I have no idea but the size of this one is a 51 by 61 so it's a decent size it's a decent size it's probably three quarters the size of my dining room table but I love 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 Mandy Manzalo's diamond paintings I think it lends itself so beautifully to be changed into a diamond painting. I'd never heard of this artist before, actually, Diamond Art Club. So I'm interested to see it. I'm going to start Googling all these different artists now, I think. But this is a square, which, again, is my favourite diamond painting to work on. It does take me a little bit longer, but I don't mind that at all. But I'm just showing you. Oh, is she gorgeous? Is it gorgeous? Right, I paid £35 for this one. Now, that was in the sale and with the 20% off so it was a little bit more expensive than the last one now what do we have here so oh thank gosh for that so yes they're all cut out there was one oh it was the last Mandy Manzala one they weren't cut out I think that's another reason why I, I thought I want to start this one first because I hoped 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 that the, these would be cut out because it saves so much time so much time I did forget to mention as well in the other one that you do get your step by step instructions and it tells you tricks and tips and there is, yep, there is a code in here as well for your next purchase 10% off but I do highly suggest, where is it, there's a code in here that you can scan, is it not in this one? It mustn't be in this one because it's an older one but if you go onto Facebook, I think it's called Diamond Art Club VIPs. Now there's a special code if you're in that group and it gives you 15% off. So 15% is a little bit better than the 10% in this booklet. And it's a really, really nice community. I do suggest uh, popping over there, especially if you're new to diamond paints and you've got any questions, I would pop over there. I tend to be a lurker in that group. I check it every single day and I'm looking at uh, di different diamond paintings and looking at people's questions and learning from that myself. I'm not actually asking questions but other people are asking them and I'm learning from that. But these are the drills. So lots and lots of greens. That orange is going to pop so much with that green background. Oh, I can't wait. Now I am noticing there is a lot of confetti, which I like the diamond painting to have a little bit of confetti and a lot of colour blocking. That's just the way that my brain works. Um, but there is quite a lot of confetti on this one so this one will be a challenge it will be a challenge for me this one I've seen some diamond paintings uh, I think there's a company from Germany and they do I think it's 250 something colours 
and it's like confetti heavy everywhere and the, the size of the canvas is like I wouldn't even be able to fit it on my table so hats off to them ladies and men that do them diamond paintings because gosh they must take years they must take years but yeah so the drills I'm just double checking I should have checked beforehand but I can't remember how many um, Aurora Borealis are in here I'm not actually seeing any off the top they might be squidged in between. I mean, but either way, even if it's not got enough, it's going to be absolutely beautiful, this one. So I am going to keep this one out. I'm going to keep this one out because this is the next one that I'm going to work on. And to roll it back up, I just simply roll this way. Just like so. I'm hoping that my toes haven't been in the, <laughs> in the frame. I f I'm filming this quite early. I just sent my daughter off to school so I'm filming it quite early I thought get it done, it's a nice day today I don't want to be sat or stood shall I say in the house filming all day because I do plan on being in the garden um, so this doesn't have to be perfect because like I said this is going to be the next one that I pull out so yeah I've still got my pyjamas on <laughs> I've sent my daughter off to school and I quickly ran upstairs and got the box I set up the tripod but quickly get it done get it done Right, so that can go back in there. And I was keeping this on Rolo's bed. I bet she's well chuffed about that. Right, so everything's in there. And we can move on to the next one. So that one can be put there. Really looking forward to starting that one. This one is a bigger. As soon as I saw this on Diamond Dark Club, and I can see my toes, I'm trying to stand back. <laughs> As soon as I saw this on Diamond Dark Club, I knew I had to have it. And yes, this was quite expensive for me. It's not as expensive as what the, the Drogon one is going to cost. And I really, really want that. But I think I want to ask my husband for that for Christmas on my birthday. But this was reduced to £63, this one. Let me just double check. I have got the, the Diamond, uh, the, the app, the actual app. So I can see, if I just go on to search, so this is the actual app itself. And if I just go on, is there a search bit? Low stock. So you can see I've got one in my basket there. So search. So what's it called? Tea Dragon. So if I type in T, will it come up? Dragon. 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 No, no. There we go. There we go. So the price of it at the moment is £59.99 uh, but it's originally at 8 and it says limited edition so that's what the little guy is going to look like. It's so cute, so so cute and that little bumblebee as well. Oh, But it is a big one, it's a big one this one. So let's get it open, let's have a little nose there. Now I think... The only other time that I've ordered from Diamond Dark Club is when I've had a cold, like a, a decent cold, whether it be 15, 20% off and the actual diamond painting was already reduced as well. I don't think I've paid full price ever and I don't think Diamond Dark Club necessarily want you to pay full price so always use a code, always use a code but I tend to wait until um, the diamond painting that I really want comes on offer and then I can use a dis discount code on top and then I can buy a few then then it, it's, it's worthwhile it's worthwhile we're doing I do apologize if any of in any point of this video you've seen my horrible feet <laughs> oh we've got a new tool kit yay 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 I'm going to struggle getting this back in the box I can tell now so in the new tool kit I'm curious to see what washi tape it is and it's very very tightly packed I'm actually going to keep this toolkit out because I'll use it now so because it is a square I didn't say this in the last one you do get a set of tweezers now these are really really sharp so make sure that you've got that cap on when you're not using it you do get your spur baggies like the other one there's my little sticker that I'm going to put in my planner just so I can keep track of what I've got and what I've not got. 
your typical diamond painting pen with a squishy. I got another green one, but it matches the dragon. Uh, what else? So we've got the nicer tray, which I think is a nicer tray. But I paint the back of these. I painted one um, black at the back and I kept the other one clear for the different sorts of um, drills. And this is a little bit bigger and it's nice and solid, this one. I do really, really like this one. I'll keep these out because I'm going to use them. And then you do get several different multi-placers. You get a tray stopper to stop the drills from falling out. So they just that just fits in there, but I don't use these. I find them more of a faff. More of a faff. Uh, you do get your wax, but you do get it in a nice love heart container. You do get a what do they call them? Tray stop, not tray stopper. Cover minder. Now I have already got this one, this exact one in this lovely mint colour. So now I've got two, but it's just got a magnet on the back. And then you pull the plastic back and you use this to keep that to cover kept back. And you do get a roll of washi tape. Now I use this, oh this is a really pretty one as well. I do use this on the outside of the diamond painting. Especially in the winter because you're wearing all your fluffy uh, jumpers and stuff. It stops all that sticking to the canvas. And I use it as well to separate, like create squares on my diamond painting to do sections so let's get into the actual so let's get into this now this is a big one a big 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 one so i don't know how much of this i'm going to be able to show on camera wow now this is a 70 by 89 i need to check upstairs because well, the one that i did in my daughter's room i had a limb one one of the princesses. Now that one is huge, huge. I do, I do actually think that it's bigger than this one. So there's his little tail. I love the little flowers. Look at them. Some nice colour blocking here as well. So even though this is a big canvas, you might find it uh, intimidating. I definitely do. With all that colour blocking there, you'll get through it in no time. A little bit more confetti heavier in the centre, which to be expected, it's his body. Look at the bee, look at the bee. Thank you. So yeah, I'm gonna have to roll this up and I've got these little clips that I put either side for when I'm using, uh, working on a big, bigger diamond painting. But look, it's all framed all around the edges with that beautiful green, it looks like ivy almost. And then you've got, what is it, a moon in the background. So the cup of tea, it's causing um, steam as well. That's been put in there. Oh wow, it looks, honestly it looks so cool on camera because I'm seeing it like here real life. I can see each individual in each individual drill or where will be a drill but on camera because you're quite high up. Oh my god that looks epic. Wow I love him. I love him. We need to think of a name for him. That is epic. So I can't start this until definitely until I move because I don't want to uh, damage it in any way so I'm going to keep this safely in its box but oh my god I love it I love it love it love it so again it is a square so it will take me a little bit longer so let's have a look so we did get the new tool kit uh, the stickers are all nicely cut double checking that's really important to me that night I never want to go back to cutting them out again and I've got one diamond painting that I'm going to have to do that with I'm not dreading it no no and then you get your booklet again. Oh, so this is the new one. This is the one that I was talking about. So it's a thank you for your purchase. All tricks and tips. Uh, there is the QR code for you to scan for you get to get to the VIP Facebook group. But if you just type it in, in the search bar, it pops up. That's what I did. And yeah, I'm really excited about this one. So there is lots and lots and lots of drills with this one. Can I see on the shop app how many drills are in this? I always look at that and then when I finish the diamond painting as well I will um, like post it and then say how many drills it has took me to finish this. So let's have a see. There's n oh, I'm surprised about that. There's 99,680 drills with this one which I'm really, really surprised about. Really surprised about. I know that there's others. See, look, it's all diamond painting. It's all diamond painting. So let's have a look at the Daughter of the Sea one. 
there was 56 there. I'm surprised about that as well. I was seeing other ones. It must be that Drogo one that I keep looking at. It's got like 120 or 150,000 drills or something like that. So, can I see any ABs? Yes, I can see like a dark green one there. That's a big bag. I think it's just the one maybe. I could be wrong. So lots of white, so that's for all of this area. I'm really excited about starting this one. Really excited. But anyway, that is my Diamond Art Club haul. I do apologise if you saw my feet during this, but like I said, it's still early in the morning. I'm going to go and get dressed now and put some socks on. But currently, we're having a mega, mega warm day, which is unusual for the UK. So I might not even wear socks. I'll have to put some uh, shorts and t-shirt on. But I'm going to pack all this up. I'm just going to drool over this for a couple more minutes before I pack it away. And I'm going to say again, the canvas with the Diamond Art Club is absolutely beautiful to work on. I've never had an issue and I've done, what, five, six canvases now and they were big ones. They were big ones. But I did have an issue once. It was with the Hannah Lynn one and it wasn't the canvas. It was the lack of a drill. I was missing a drill. And I messaged Diamond Art Club and the customer service is excellent. The day after, they'd shipped it out. It did take over a week to get here, but, you know, I'm in the UK, that can't be helped. But, yeah, the customer service is absolutely fantastic. I will try and link all four of these uh, diamond paintings down below, just in case you're interested. But thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.